Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sean's Green Room Podcast. Please remember, this is not a comedy show. However, it is a show about the comedy business, where we attempt to pull back the magical veil on the comedy club brick wall, giving you, the listeners, an opportunity to hear the real stories from the artist and industry directly. Today's special guest... This stand-up comedian has been seen on Comedy Central, Gotham on Fox, and starred next to Matt Damon and Scarlett Johansson. Ladies and gents, Mr. Dustin Ibarra. All right. Welcome out, ladies and gentlemen, to Sean's Green Room. Today I have a very special guest. Uh, Obviously, uh, you've probably seen him on Comedy Central. Uh, He's also a been uh, one of my favorites. Uh, he was on uh, Gotham, uh, where uh, I got to say, he did a pretty impressive job with your crazy man. I don't know how far of a stretch it was, but um, welcome, ladies and gents. Uh, say hi to Dustin. They're all. What's up? Of- Hello. Thank you, guys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Um, obviously, we talked uh, to kind of get prepared. Dude, um, yeah, man. It's good seeing you again. It's great seeing you. Uh, so, little history. Um, you started, you didn't start here in Dallas, but um, you, the first time I ever saw you was here. You're from mm. like South Texas. Right? I am, but I did start my stand up here. Okay. Yeah. So like, that I, was my like first. Real? That was like your. Yeah. We didn't was... try any shit down there? No, just because I was a. Uh, because I was a kid. Like, because I, I, I moved up here probably in. Um, I don't know. Probably like early high school. Okay. And then in high school, I went over to. Uh, that's where I did Bell Bottoms open mic, and that was like my first. Bell Bottoms. No, not Bell Bottoms. It was some other place, dude. It was one of the. Remember Gary Hood? Okay. Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah. How he ran like all the uh, things and yeah. stuff. Um, he, ran, he was like that good, that uh, king of the open mics of uh, all the. Sh- <laughs> God rest his soul. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, but yeah, he definitely uh, he definitely had a few shows around town where uh, yeah. he utilized the talent. Uh, I, Fred, I, give me a ride. Okay. <laughs> that's that's right. Dude, I that's, would give him so many rides. I got this oh gig. God. You want to do it? Yeah, great. I needed a ride. <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's how you. If you had a car, you could like get some road work. You, you know what I'm saying? Road work comes, and that's the oh God. car before the set. Yeah, yeah. You know car before saying? the set. Yeah. Before you write jokes, make sure car you have a reliable. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. So you've been in the game for what 16 years now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it started here in Dallas. Uh, that's the first mm-hmm. time I saw you. Uh, um, you uh, you. You obviously are successful now. Uh, you Thank live, you. You live out in L.A. Um, I'm in L- L.A. life, man. L.A. life. You did do New York for a little while. Yeah, correct? that's why I moved to first. Right. Okay. Out here after a, a turn of events yes. that uh, you actually had a huge uh, hand in. Me? You changed my life, bro. Oh, man, that's what it's about. Yeah, do you remember that? Do you uh, want like, because it was uh, Bill Bellamy was in town. Yep, yep. And you were like. Hey, um, you see this dude? He's funny, and you gave me a guest spot, and I did it. And Bellamy loves you. Yeah, loves he you. was like, "Hey, you need to go do this stand up for diversity thing yeah. in New York, like and next like, week or something." Yeah, right? dude. Like, yes, it was like <laughs> next week. Yeah, and, and you're like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll go." And dude, how the yeah. hell am I gonna get to New York? Yeah, uh, and then just oh, it's so weird. It was such a poor guy. Like I remember I. I just met someone who could get Southwest buddy passes. Okay. So I bought a buddy pass from him for like 75 bucks and just went to New York and uh, stayed with Jimmy Walker's ex-girlfriend. You just never came back. I no, mean, like you, I did you, it. I didn't come back. Yeah, dude. I was expecting like back next week to feature or something. Well, yeah, and you were like, sorry, dude. Um, I'm getting famous over here. I'm like, it's, it was, it's, it's been 48 <laughs> hours. How the hell? I think you got like a commercial with like Time Warner Cable. Yeah, I got it. Was, a, it was, it all happened like, dude, it was quick, man. Cause I did that showcase and then the daytime show was like, all right. But the evening show where all the industry was at, right. it, like I, I did really good on that. Like, Murder. MTV was there and like, just uh, to, like, that's where I got my age and stuff. And it just, everything changed. It was, dude, that was, that was that single moment was like, that was the coolest moment, yeah. bro. Like, like, it was like. You deserved it. I mean. Thanks for giving me that guest spot. Hey, man, thanks, thanks for, for not funny. calling uh, Anthony Perez, my buddy. <laughs> 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 Our lives could have been. <laughs> plus his comedy career. But, uh, I love it. Yeah. I um, think he's a tab. Yeah. yeah, no, is he, I haven't he seen Anthony Italian, in yeah. forever. Like, uh, that guy. He's I, awesome. I love that little that crew dude. that you, you rolled, the Sucker Punch crew. Yeah, that Sucker that Punch was, uh, crew. That was a. Uh, 
uh, a very good, talented group of people. You know, I think you Love guys were all dudes, comedy man. writers yeah. together and worked in buddies. Uh, you know, that, that definitely showed your progress. Okay, so the show's called Sean's Green Room. Okay. Green Room. Uh, uh, so we know what It happens. was Sean's. Go- oh, yeah. yeah. Sean's Green Room was fun, man. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember the old, yeah. all the old Addison old. Green Room, man. Uh, you know, the, there, was a, there was a few times we might have almost got in trouble. Well, uh, <laughs> it changed depending on who was there that week. Because yeah. you remember it's like certain weeks you were like, Okay, like the local comics, we could go hang out a little bit. Like you know, you never want to like crowd the green room, but come back. But then sometimes you get someone who's like, "Don't go in the green room. He'll be, he'll, he'll chew your ass out." Yeah, yeah he's, like, his, he just found out his wife's divorcing him via yeah. email, and yeah. he's, he's not in a good mood. So yeah, uh, yeah I would stay out of the green room this weekend. I remember Pablo's green room, Pablo Francisco. Okay. His green room was either like super fun and crazy. Or it, all the lights were off and there was like a candle <laughs> and like, <laughs> like classical music playing. Like, we're just calming down right now. We're resting. Yeah, yes, we're just resting until Saturday when my buddy shows up. Yeah, man. And resting. the lights are back on. It's yeah. a party. Yeah. Uh, I can, it's funny. Every time I talk to Pablo, I can, it, it, you, the conversation... He, I don't even think it's not even ADD. It's so far, far past it. Like he'll be yeah, like, he's, he'll be like, oh man, I get on blah blah blah. Hey, yeah, his oh, mind oh, is blah, blah, always blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So when he comes over and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? Hey, what are you guys doing? Um, what the fuck? Are you <laughs> I love just listening to him tell a story. There's a lot of head nodding. Mm-hmm. Okay, he does, yeah. dude. He's he's one of those dudes. Like if I were on a desert island, I'd be like, oh man, this okay for entertainment. Just yes. to talk here. Uh, just go. <laughs> yeah. just, just give him a stick. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Hey, what is this? Hey, I'm an old man. Hey, you can't get off my fucking. <laughs> he has the biggest heart. One of the kindest does, guys in, that, in, in the biz. Okay, so uh, have you ever been in a green room um, mm-hmm. or your green room or seen an, uh, a diva? Like, what would be a good green room story? You could don't have to drop well, any names, so you can talk shit I'm about somebody. I'm trying to think of, like, who's... Most people are pretty cool. Um, it, the green room is weird, though, because it's like... I've noticed whenever I'm out and I'm, like, headlining and stuff, like, if I have a... If I'm, I'll be in the green room and then some people will like just totally take it over and I'm like, okay, that's cool. But I don't care about that stuff. No. But because I'm like, I like, but if I was someone else, I could see how it would piss them off. You know, like especially once. Oh my god, whenever people come in the green room and like they'll light up a joint or something, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? What? what you? I had that happen one time. And I'm like, dude, this is. I, I, this isn't a rock star as you would think, you know. I'm, I could get in trouble, bro. TVs like, lie, like yeah. Can't, no, this is not. I'm dusting a bar. I'm not like Doug Benson. <laughs> like they'll kick me out of here. You know what I, I'm saying? I really want to see another contract after this weekend, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, yeah, no. I've, uh, I, it's, it's, people are pretty respectful, but every now and then it's like someone's a dick. And stuff do you ever you ever do you have anything crazy on your writer you know the writer obviously inside your no contract. not at all come on you need to add something totally just not totally, totally not. they would probably see it and be like let's not book him just he look wants, for like something guy wants like, too many green m&ms like yeah just like tea like a specific tea, tea. Just, oh a specific tea uh, uh, just something cool. like really hard like i have to go on amazon oh. and order it you know like what the fuck why does he want this <laughs> you're like listen it can't be the blue bee it has to be the red bee version <laughs> gotta be yeah yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I would so not give a fuck and then you don't touch it the whole weekend and uh Hey, you, what is this shit? Yeah. Don't even act like I know what it is. Yeah. Like, what is it? Oh, Someone's my I, agent. She loves this. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why she did that. <laughs> okay, so um, question. Uh, mm. Obviously, you've been to many venues. Um, <clears throat> is there a particular venue that has a like a, a server or a staff that you go, yeah, this is a memorable server or a staff member? Oh, that's a good question. All the home clubs always, you always remember that, those staffs and things, but none of those are around anymore. No, you know what no, I'm we saying? we fired them all because they're yeah, well, too that, friendly fraternizing. Everyone <laughs> fraternizing. Yeah, 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 fraternizing with the comic. Get this out is out of business. Here. Yeah, work, work, work. I need more yeah. money. Right now, I don't, I, probably like the Comedy Magic Club out in oh. Hermosa is really cool. Very I good. love that place. You're good, good people there. Great people there. And it's one of those like uh, really just prestigious clubs, I guess, where like, that's a, Jay Leno goes there all the yeah, time. Yeah, Jay Leno right? goes there, and, and uh, like just celebrities are always popping in. Like, well, just those like and, and like older comics. You know right. what I'm saying? The like vets. Was, yeah, there's vets. Like, uh, this guy wrote for Carson. <laughs> this guy wrote on the Tonight <laughs> Show. It is kind of like that. Sometimes we run into like older crowds. You got to be clean there too. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. what, what is what is clean? Does that mean like you can get away with damn and shit, but you um, can't do the f bomb? Or is it, it depends. Like, well, none of it. I've been working there for a while now, so I can I can get away with some damn and some shits, maybe in an f bomb uh, on wow. occasion, on occasion. But I'll do it really fast and apologize. <laughs> but. Do you 
you really yeah. apologize? No, I don't know. <laughs> They're cool. Yeah, They're like know. super cool. Well, sometimes it'll be like they do a lot of like fundraisers there, so they'll be like, "Hey, this is like a elementary school." <laughs> yeah. This kid has cancer. You yeah, know, don't like... do your suppository <laughs> joke. <though. laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I want to do that one. That, that is a good bit. I, I I haven't heard it, but anytime there's suppository, oh, joke, it's, it's a good it's, one. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. It's in the <clears> top three. Oh my god, I'm missing out, man. It's it's been a while since I've I've been able to see you. It's been a bit, dude. Yeah, I was wondering if you were gonna come down to San Antonio. I, I wanted to, but I got quite the. Oh yeah, and that's like that's yeah. a trip. I love that place though. That's a. I, I love I, it too, man. Yeah, I, I love South Texas, man. I was. Everybody there is super nice. Everybody works really slow though. I was really surprised. Like, <laughs> really, like it, dude. It's like uh, you know, you ask them to do something, like you ask them on Monday, like yeah, no problem. Yeah, like it's like Thursday, and you're asking him like, "Yeah, yeah, I was planning on getting that next week." Yeah, like, wow, that's where I was born. That's where I get it from. Wow. I think, is that, is that I think my dad must have been one of those procrastinating dudes. He's still <laughs> getting around to pregnant. see me. Yeah, yeah no, one, one day, one day he'll, one day he'll show back up. Let's put it off. He's, like, I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll wait till he's twenty. I guess. Yeah, I'm past that. Thanks, yeah, pops. come on, dude. I, I miss you. I think. <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, Road, okay, comedians. Yeah. You guys have to do what we call the road. The um, road. And I think, uh, in my opinion, oh, you know, um, hmm. um, question. Yeah. Real question. Uh, what do you think? Why do you think they call it a green room? A green room? Yeah. Oh, there's probably some reason, right? I'm, it's 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 it's. Well, I hands. imagine that like um, oh, it probably happened. Some vaudeville star was carrying um, some paint, you know. And now the paint was blue, <laughs> which I know it kind of like throws you off. Where's this going? Yeah, right. But he spilt it and it got all over the walls, you know. Okay. And it dried and the blue uh, became green. And so therefore it was the uh, green room after that. And uh, so we've been calling it that since uh, P.T. Barnum uh, did that. Right, you know, it sounds good. Yeah. Right, well, <laughs> I'll put it on the Wikipedia page. Uh, <laughs> I don't it, know. What's the real I, like? I, 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 I don't know. I don't even want to Google it. I know it's out there. Oh, it's I, probably I, something simple. Oh, yeah. I bet it is. I just don't want, I don't want the, uh, the nostalgia. You just, you just wanted. I just want to hear everybody's. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. You just don't want to know. I don't want to. Do you ever get that's that? That's good. Where, this yeah. is like very like, dude, that's I, awesome. I, I enjoy wondering. Dude, because yeah. like nowadays you can pretty much Google anything and get yeah. the answer. And there's some times where I just go. No, I'm not Googling. You just this. don't want to know. I, I, you yeah. know, it might be like, "Hey, who's that guy in that movie?" And I just sit there like, and everybody pulls their phones out. I'm like, "No, we're just gonna wonder <laughs> about this tonight." Let it remain like, a let. mystery. And then, like three days later, someone texts me and it's like, "Oh, it's Gilbert Godfrey." I'm like, "Ah, yes, uh, I'm molting." You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, "I googled it." Like, no, <laughs> no you cheated. <laughs> you cheated me on my wonder. Oh, um, yeah. okay. So now, fast forwarding, uh, the road. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you ever you ever been on the road and uh, had um, uh, an, an experience? Oh, so the road, all of them are <laughs> experiences. Okay. It's like, I'm trying to think of like insane ones. I mean, one of my first road experiences, like they've gotten better. <laughs> you know, the first ones are always kind of crazy. Yeah, barely have gas. Well, yeah, one of them was like just like that whole Gary Hood thing with uh, me and Chris Dodgen. Okay. Um, and yeah, he was this other comic where like open micers and hoodie was, he was this old, like big fat Jewish dude. And he was like, Hey, I'm going to take you guys to do this gig in Victoria. And we're like, Oh, okay, let's do it. And he's like, all right. And so we drove down there and we, we're down there and we do the gig, you know, and, um, after the show, and he's drinking and stuff and we're back in the room and he's like, uh, he's like, uh, you know, one phone call. I could ruin everything. He's like, I'm, I'm, uh, who did he call himself? I'm Donald Trump. I'm, uh, who's that dude that owns the Yankees? Oh, uh, I'm, uh, let's wonder about him. Whatever, <laughs> Yogi Bear, whoever. <laughs> yeah, I could ruin you. I'm, I could do it all. And he says that to like Dodge, and then he turns to me. He's like, you would be a little harder, but I could ruin it. <laughs> I could ruin your career. You know, it's it's funny how someone can be in the business for so long. He, Gary was in the business. He was in the business. For yeah, twenty something years. I, I'm guessing. I think he was on Welcome Back, Cotter. Or was something. he really? Yeah, he or he said he. Well, yeah. Okay. You know, that's. I mean, that's your stage credit when you go up. I'm. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, he's probably, probably seen him on and Welcome Back, Cotter, and everybody but. in there is going like, "Is that John Travolta's TV show?" <laughs> that's, yeah. But I mean, he was a TV actor. <laughs> Um, so, so road, uh, going, and that was like a really rednecky type okay. gig. So what that was, that? was like, 
a uh, that was like no pay. I think I, I can't remember what I got paid. Probably like twenty bucks or something. Ah, probably just barely covered the gas. Yeah, it was probably it. like it's the experience or <laughs> something like that. Do you think it was? Do you think that you hitting the road made you a better comic? Oh, definitely. Yeah, you got to because it's like. Well, at the time too, it's like kind. Of, it was the only place around here we could do, do uh, longer sets, you know. Okay. And I've always been one of those dudes. Like I, I gotta in order to do it, I just have to do it. As weird as like. Um, you mean your material? You no, to- it's in like I don't know if I have thirty minutes of material until I had thirty minutes of material. So basically, like, until light, I did like, it. You got thirty minutes, and you're like, what? Well, no, the first one I I did not. I remember, <laughs> um, and this was like my first real, real road. It was like a featuring spot in like uh, El Paso. Okay. And I, it was like my first real feature spot. How and, far into the game were you at this point, roughly? I don't know, maybe like uh, two years, maybe less. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, it was. I had to do thirty minutes, and it was Bart Reed. <laughs> I still do that room. Okay, uh, but like he's like, uh, I remember I got off stage, and he got so mad because I didn't, I think I did like twenty minutes or something. Okay, he's like, you can't do that. It messes up the wait staff. I like it didn't occur to me that like, oh, the whole show, like you'll mess up the whole show if you get off early. True, uh, but I, I do feel as a as a club manager, I would prefer you to get off at twenty than to eat shit. Yes, ten more minutes. And ruin the momentum of the show. So, like yeah. with me, it's like, okay, uh, hey, you got thirty, and then if you get down to twenty, uh, yeah, it kind of messes up. Probably because the MC's in the back trying to hit on a waitress, or yeah, eat some food, and he's not ready to run back up stage. But um, it's I, always, I feel like you're right. It's better to do short time that's yeah. good than long time. But it was one of those because I, I also you don't want to admit too that you don't. Yeah. So you're like, no, I got it, I got this, I got oh, this, man. Dude, I put a post up the other day just trying to find some clean comics and see how much time. And uh-huh. it's like, uh, I'm like, hey, <laughs> nice uh, and I feel like I feel like in some ways I'm trolling them because I just I know they're bullshitting the answers. So they'll <laughs> pop in, they're like, ah, 30 minutes, and I'm like. Dude, I gave you five minutes on a show just recently, and you ate it. How can you yeah. tell me you got thirty no, minutes of clean? I, I think they believe it. I, yeah. People do that. They just think like, oh, I've got, I've been doing stand up for two weeks. I got like probably forty five minutes. Yeah, maybe. yeah, no, no. You, it's, I, I, I find it takes this. This is my my scale. It usually takes, um, to build to build probably fifteen minutes takes about a year. Is oh, my that's guess. Good. That's yeah. I, and know, some, some people turn it around so quickly. Well, I think once you get a pro level, yeah. I think once you create an right. hour or two minutes or an hour yeah. or two of material, the next fifteen minutes are easier because you just. But yeah. to get up to like an hour of material, I'm gonna say probably you need to be doing comedy for about four years. That's yeah. my. Hypothesis. And you need it to be killer too, because when no one knows you, it's like that's the only thing you got is your set. That's it. Yeah. That's you know. So every showcase, every spot, you gotta. Right. You want to kill. You know, you just don't, you don't want to do, you either want to kill or be that quirky motherfucker that, that everyone's going to like, you know? True, true. I, I think that was one of the things that we really loved about you was, A, you, uh, from the jump street, you were funny. Uh, you know, the, the early material perfectly suited to who you were. Uh, Very uh, goofy looking, too. Uh, like, I had well, glasses. I, I, you, you're a little <laughs> bit goofy looking, but I mean, it, it was believable. I think, I think that was something that most comedians have to kind of, find their voice mm. it felt like the first time i remember seeing you was which was early in the game probably six months or something you just you you had it uh, in in the biz oh, i love that i love it, those show biz it, terms it, yeah yeah you, you had it. It. it was I like, have it i mean because we had nick and, and anthony i think that then those guys are really talented and your 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 style just it, it was it was so believable. Oh, um, thanks, your, man. your material mashed. It was you know a lot of video games. Uh, I think you had that joke. Some I don't even know if you do games. any of them. Probably did none of them. But uh, you had the you had the bit about um, getting uh, pulled over for eating and driving. Oh, and dude, he's like, yeah. He's like, did I, did I smell ketchup on your breath? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, and then you had. I mean, there's some jokes that people write that that I never forget, okay? Uh, and I, I, I call them like uh, O jokes to me. I don't know what yeah. you call them, but basically it changes the way I look at something. So anytime anybody ever comes up to me and they're like, uh, you know, uh, I'm hungry. And I'm like, ah, you should have ate earlier. I just remember the joke where you're like, do you ever like, like Think regret that. not eating? You bring yeah. those back. Oh, dude, it was. Why, it, why did I? Why do I retire these was, bits? Uh, I'm not like freaking uh, Led Zeppelin or something. No, they, they, they're amazing <laughs> bits. It's, uh, uh, but it, it, what I was what was cool about your material was you had a lot of really good jokes really early, and I, I, I really felt like you had done comedy for a year or two before I even saw you. I, dude, thanks, man. I think it also helped like just hanging out with my friends. Dallas is a very uh, 
at that time too, it was really like writing was just very big. And I remember Paul yeah. was one of the main dudes, and just the whole setup of writing, just the whole setup and punchline. You know, yeah. the formula was very like it made sense to like I got it. Like, is it, oh, that's a joke. You got to have the setup and the punchline. Did you take a comedy tag. class or anything like that? No, I I I paid like Gary Hood like a hundred bucks. That's right. Yeah. You were one of the hood kids. I was one of the hood guys. Okay. Yeah. He's like, here, here's here's a joke. I want you to write down all my material because I need to submit it to NBC. Yeah, <laughs> dude, the improv one was like expensive. The yeah. uh, what, um, Dean Lewis one. Yeah. I wanted to take it, but that was like, yeah, it was it was not cheap. It wasn't. It was cheap. not that cheap. Uh, but uh, I definitely feel you know that having an understanding of how to write a bit is more powerful if you can learn it early in the game, you know? Yes, so, yeah. Uh, well, uh, your friends and maybe Gary Hood's work uh, worked out wonderfully for you, so. Uh, Thanks, I was you, obsessed too with it. Like, just, I was just obsessed with comedy. And I, it helped that I was younger too. Like, I didn't really have anything going on. There was nothing else I was into. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I wasn't I wasn't getting laid or anything. No, so you're that definitely wasn't definitely not getting laid. Definitely not getting yeah. laid. Yeah. Uh nothing was ha- I wasn't into like a ton of sports. I was into NASCAR, remember? I was like That's right. I remember yeah. I would wear yeah. my NASCAR yeah, t-shirts and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but like other than that, comedy was like I was obsessed with it. So I would like read books and stuff. I remember I had that Judy uh the comedy bible. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was like yeah, I was just really into just how everything worked and just it was weird. It was like an obsession, you know? It's like and I feel like whenever you get into something, you kind of got to have that first little like, oh, we're just you're just into it, you know? Because now I'm so not into it. Oh, you like, really? I, I'm into it, but not like I was. Right. Not like it's like live, breathe, die. Con- like, oh man, I got to make that open mic that's seven hours away. <laughs> like, I mean, do you think it's? I mean, obviously you got gigs, and you know you're, you're performing at some of these venues all over the country. Um, so when you went to New York, how long did you stay in New York? Because you stayed with Dynamite's uh, Yeah, ex. Jimmy Walker's yeah. ex-girlfriend. Yeah, 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 I stayed in New on York the with her. On the couch and the floor? What was it? Um, on the She slept on the couch. I slept on the bed. It was it was crazy. But the oh, couch that's... was a lot more comfortable. <laughs> that's what it was. And she was like, I'm going to sleep on this anyways. <laughs> yeah. You can use my bed. And she was only there like, uh, she wasn't there that much. On the, she was like there just a few days a week. So it was awesome. I had this place in like Upper West Side, New York, you know, and. I was hitting up all the clubs since I got the agent. He got me into the club so okay. I could immediately, like, start working and stuff. And um, so You were in New York. You're doing the comedy. I think that helps comedians understand how to tell jokes, the words. Because I think New York comedy is different than L.A. comedy. You know, oh, yeah. New York is really small stages. It's very much word-driven you're not doing huge act outs yeah. in a New York club, I'm, I'm based on what I've seen. And way different from Dallas comedy. Uh, like I remember yeah. when I went up there, it was insane. Did they like, did they like your 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 nerdy material? Um, everyone was cool with me. I didn't have any like, any, but I just I felt I felt very different. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because I remember I was like super clean too. I didn't like. Uh, yeah, I, I remember you had, you didn't have any dirty. Yeah, jokes, it, right? was, I, it was just very. Um, and I remember just seeing everyone like, and the, you would see people like from TV. So it was like the first time of like, because you know like they would come here like right, but like this was just seeing them work out. Like Greg Giraldo, I remember seeing him just work out God, a bit. He's so like, funny. He uh, was funny, man. I went up. I was like, dude, so funny. I just got into town. Like, <laughs> that's hey, probably annoying. Yeah, he's like, oh, what are you guys? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't see you as ever being the annoying guy. You know? Oh, I'm so, so annoying. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. You, you never annoyed me. You probably should have. But no, you never annoyed probably. me. Probably. You yeah. probably blacked it. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. <laughs> like, in retrospect, I'm like, God, he's calling Damn you. it, Dustin. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're in New York. You're doing your mm-hmm. thing. And then you make your decision to go to L.A. Why did you leave New York? Um, because I got a, um, was auditioning up there, um, and New York was awesome. I, I still sometimes wonder if I should have stayed, but. I don't think you should have. I don't think I should have either. I think it was a good decision. Yeah, you can always visit. Yeah, totally. And, have you been um, back? Have you been back to New York since? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I filmed stuff out there. It's so cool, yeah. There you go. So, yeah. Right. Um, but, like, going to L.A. was because I, I, I tested for this TV show, and they flew me out there. Okay. Which one was that? It was Untitled Mark Brazil Project. Okay. Um, with, you know who was a writer on that? No. Neil Edwards. Really? Neil Edwards, oh, yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> and he, I think, and he had a hand in getting me out. Okay. So I, they fly me out to L.A., and I stay in this, like, really nice place, you know. Like and, a hotel or a house? Um, a hotel that was, like, right across from the studio. Oh, well, that's convenient. It, it, dude, it was so cool, man. And um, then go test for it. I don't get it, 
But while I'm out there, I'm like, I, I think I'm going to stay here. Because this was so awesome because I had nothing tying me down. Either. I That's was true. just like, I had no possessions. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to stay here. And I ended up staying with uh, Anthony's cousin. Okay. Anthony Perez. Anthony Perez. His cousin had just got shot. They needed someone to take care of him. So I lived in this area in Pacoima, dude. It was like crazy gang area. Yeah, that's how I took care of this dude. And we lived, I'd live there and just. Uh, Tended to his wounds. Yeah, tended to his wounds. We would go over lines together. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like he would like test you. He's like, okay, you got this new one. And yes. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I need to see more, more heart. Yeah. yeah. He, it Your eyebrows best. are going up too much. <laughs> He would be so like when it, I got we bought a zoo when we were there. Ah, God, that was dude, awesome. That was, dude, I remember you 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 hollered at me when you got that one. Yeah, like, that you was can't the tell best. Anybody, but I am on the set <laughs> with Scarlett Johansson and Matt Damon. I'm like, are you kidding yeah, me? Man. Oh man, that's, that's <laughs> dude. That was so much yeah. fun. I liked oh, your man. I liked your accent in that movie. It was a uh, you know I gotta say you, your that? acting chops was a uh, you had that like, oh, yeah. Irish or Scottish. I don't, no, I didn't have that. Yeah. I was just regular. I was regular. You're thinking about the other dude. I swear I didn't have a, a uh, one yeah. in that. I was, okay, well, maybe I was just like there. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> it probably was. You just, oh, it was man. it was fun though, and I I would go over the lines with uh, Stevie Anthony's cousin, the gangster dude, and okay. he'd be like, "Oh man, I can't believe." I'm saying what Matt Damon's going to say. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah you better you really I'm, cherish like, this moment. I'm Matt Damon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so fun, man. Good. So you get the you get that. Uh, you got um. You were on a show with Lorenzo Lamas. I remember that. Uh, no, John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. No, and Lorenzo. I'm not saying Dude, no. you're right. Lorenzo. Yeah. That was a movie. How do I know more about your fucking career. No, than you I, do? the Lorenzo Lamas thing a, was, it was a like movie. a movie. That's right. Yeah, but that was like uh, I forgot about that. That, had, that was crazy. Uh, John Leguizamo and uh, Christopher Lloyd, if I remember yeah. it, right. Um, and you're just scoring these things like back to back to back. Right. I had heat. I, it's so funny. You don't realize when you have heat. Like, I wish I, I now look at, like because I remember I ran into someone recently. I was trying to sell a show and they're like, yeah, dude, I remember hearing. Didn't you do that? Because they were talking about that pilot, too. I remember they're like they, everyone was talking about you and pushing you. They're like, oh, this kid, he came in from Texas and he's got blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. I wish I would have known that. Yeah, not I would have right. had more confidence in myself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there was a fact that you did it. You know, uh, yeah, probably, you never yeah, came across cocky. You. And there, there's that thing where comedians, they start getting to that next spot, you yeah. know, in their career, and it goes to their head, okay? And then when that momentum slows down or doesn't go the way they thought, you know, their TV show gets canceled or something, uh, I've seen it with so many artists, you know, where now they, they still maintain that ego, but they their attitude, they just kind of become Dicks. dicks yeah, yeah. and it, it, it sucks too because you know I, I've, I've been around for what almost 20 years in this biz and i've seen comedians come from the humble to amazing and i've seen yeah. the amazing be humbled uh and um dude yeah you've never had that uh that attitude like so i guess that kind I've of been re- humbled a pretty good <laughs> like with i've had i've had a lot of things not go that i thought were gonna go just like how did you keep your head up? Like, how did you? Just because. How did you not quit when when the shit hits a storm and you know you're not you're not life's not going the way that you think it should? Or what's helped me so far is like so far everything has gotten a little bit better than the last thing. Okay. Like say like the first thing like you know um, I get a TV show it doesn't go you know right or no I get a, I get, say I I get a pilot but the pilot doesn't go the next time I get a. I get a TV show, and um, you know it goes, but it only goes a few episodes. Right. It doesn't air. Then the next time, it's I got a, a season, and right. it got canceled. You're so the next a, time, I'll get two. Yeah, well, you got, <laughs> but you I might a, not. But it's like everything. I try to keep a positive attitude. It, what was that one that um, the the one where uh, the, the guy like learned about God? Like the, the whole oh, that? Kevin like, probably Kevin, saves the world. Yeah. yeah. So that, that, one was, that was the best, dude. Yeah. That's the best I've done like on on a show. Like as in like it's. I got I got a lot of airtime and I got to like really act and it was just a blast, dude. I loved it, man. So you, do you, I, I would assume so. You're such a likable guy. Do you, do you maintain relationships with these people or yeah? Do you, do you actually get their like you like you know? Did you get their phone number? Yeah, we you, would go hang out, uh, dude. On the show, it's you don't hang out like after the show. Well, right. you'll hang out some, but like it's not like it is when you're on the show. So it's not like working buddies where now you have built like the best friend in somebody from a show, but it's more like working friends that yeah. hang out around kind of just like comics you know what i'm saying okay. like when you're all yeah okay like we worked on that for a while and it was really cool and we all stay in touch and 
We'll get dinner sometimes with like different members. Um, me and Jason, I keep in touch with him pretty good. Cause Jason we, uh, James, Jason Ritter, Jason Ritter. I don't know Jason. He, he was on. Um, the, we we what? did a show together and it got canceled. Is and that then Ritter's other one? John Ritter's yeah, son. Yeah, John Ritter's son. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I I, I do know of him. Yeah. I haven't met. He's him. super cool. Is totally he? just off, dude. Yeah, he's one of those like really good guys. I hear his like, dad is like one of the was one of the nicest people. In that's the what planet. I heard too. Yeah. yeah. He seems like he it. always has good stories about him and stuff. Yeah, like he's super cool. Good, good. This would have been the opportunity to talk now. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was the biggest dick. No. Yeah, he's such a. So uh, okay, so what kind of advice would you give um, an entertainer? Okay, that is. Let's just call him a stage entertainer, either comedian or magician or something. What, what, what? Over the years, have you learned that you wish you would have learned earlier in the game? Um, probably doing more social media. Oh, so to the marketing stuff. Yeah, the marketing stuff. I'm not great at that. Yeah, and you know, if that's and I've got. I know my material is fine. I got stand up, and I'm like, but I don't know. I'm just not because I had a whole plan. Okay. But it was kind of before the whole social media thing. Like I, I started before YouTube. I started doing stand up, and I think maybe it came out like in my third year or something, and I didn't really pay attention to it. And then another thing came out, and I didn't really pay attention, you know. And then right. another thing, you know. So I've never, I've never been on the ball when it comes to that kind of uh, stuff, you know. And yeah. I, I probably. There's things I should have started, you know, like if I would have started just anything on YouTube, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It would have been yeah, something. So I'm, I feel like um, I, consistency on something is in like, because stand-up has always been my consistent thing. Right. But it's like now in this new age, it's not like, it's different, you know? It's not like stand-up, I tell people stand-up was, it used to be like the awesome like slacker, stonery job. Like, ah, I'm just going to chill out all day. I might, you know, or just food, write a couple of jokes do it tonight at the at the uh, show and then but now it's like oh no i gotta be putting videos online and like talking like checking in like hey look i'm at so-and-so you know yeah do you even like social media or you fucking hate social media dude <laughs> fucking hate it dude <laughs> why like wish it wasn't around every time i hear like something like social media get going down i'm like yes, yes. like that thing about uh, oh the server went down on yeah, facebook yeah. Oh, oh people are gonna quit yes. facebook yes. yes and then it just comes back in droves and they're like oh. now yeah they made, you know how fast the internet is i'm making those memes like they're the internet so is fast. so yes. and they're so like, relentless i didn't that the internet added a whole other thing to, to the whole stand-up thing because now yeah people can fuck with you and that now Stand up is in a weird place where anything you say will like, and I don't mean to be one of those guys. Anything, you, but like even it, like saying, someone will come after you for anything, no right. matter what you do. Yeah. I feel like, and yeah. it's it's like I've always hated that. I I got into stand up because I was bullied and whatnot. I'm a fucking nerd. Like, I don't want to literally the what you I don't want to go attacking. back to that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it, it. It is interesting how over the years that um how stand up has changed i mean i remember steve byrne was in town and uh um and he was just basically like talking so bad about modern audiences and you just can't yeah. you can't get away with night i mean like i would I mean, even going back and like looking at shows like seinfeld like you know there's no way seinfeld could have been on tv now like the the, the stuff that they oh, said the things, yeah, yeah so just, many things and it, like. it, i mean it's one of those huge shows but it's yeah. like right now oh man it would have made like one episode and been shut down <laughs> yeah. you know you know what i saw the other day that would have so been not flown okay. oh my god clueless man oh. have you seen clueless I like seen it in a long time oh. there's a lot of stereotypes in that bro and they drop she says retard a lot she oh. says that a, and it's like whoa what it like it, I, I was watching i was like because you know how you go back and you don't remember you're like Whoa, and they like they they do a bunch of like things that are uh, would be considered offensive. There's a gay dude in it, you know, okay. and it's like a whole like stereotypical thing there, like yeah, just yeah. things that it would not get someone to be like, oh, don't you can eat it. Well, I had heard that, that they're bringing back in Living Color. Like all of them agreed to come back and do it. Maybe I heard. Oh it was, no yeah, way! Yeah, no, they. I don't know whether it's awesome. you know they got the contracts done or not, but yeah. um, how the hell would they even do that show? I mean, like, I, literally every oh, single God. episode was... <laughs> Handyman. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, you got, dude. You got the fire marshal bill, and you got the, the two gay guys that review all the videos. It, the, yes. the clown, Homie the Clown. You know Homie the Clown was uh, created by uh, Paul Mooney? Really? Oh, yeah, he's, uh, yeah that, at least that's what I heard. Uh, 
I don't I know. I can see that. I could see it too. No. Uh, Angry. <laughs> how, how could they do, like, do you feel like you as a comedian, you're inhibited because of people with their cell phones or people's opinions? I think I just got to think more about it. Like, it, things just, I, I got to work around things now. I, like, just, and it makes, it's weird because I struggle with it because I've always been one of those make them laugh type of guys the laugh over the art type of thing but not like in like hacky ways and stuff i've had that like, you know be original in it but like now there was a joke that i used to do there was like um i would get into it by saying oh i sweat during sex i'm like you ever sweat during sex and i would like point to a dude and he's i'm like yeah you're sweating and then the other dude's sweating and you're like ah you know <laughs> it always gets a big laugh but then it's like I'm like, you know, it's like I'm making fun of gay people. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm making fun of this dude. And what if he is gay? And he's like, yeah, so what's it, with... It, yeah. The, so a lot of... Yeah, a lot of that has changed. I'm like, the whole... And it's very... It's like... It's like... And I look at my comedy. I'm like, okay, my comedy is like a pretty uh, sophomore-ish, I guess. You know, pretty okay. Uh, okay. goofy. You don't, you don't do crowd work. I don't. So. I don't. But that. But I'm just saying about those jokes like that. Just like things I took... Like the gay thing. Or uh -huh. like just... Yeah... I'm just surprised just that you actually to, have not only crowd work, but it's a gay crowd work. Oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty, All uh, my crowd work is very fake, very <laughs> loaded. Very, I know exactly. Even if you don't respect, you could, I could say, hey, hey, hey what's your favorite, uh, yeah, what's your favorite uh, fast food place? They say Dairy Queen. I'm like, is I Long John Silver? That's crazy, <laughs> man. I was there the other day. You know, <laughs> just you're like nobody can hear you. Yeah, that type Long of shit. John oh Silver. my god. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. So, <laughs> oh, you, I think you should just work on lots of crowd work. Just uh, you know, just, I just, do. I who's do. Who's your favorite just crowd like, work comic? Crowd work comic. Yeah. Like if you had to choose a comedian, and let's say some people. Raj. Right no. <laughs> Raj is pretty big on the crowd. I'm work. trying to think who's a crowd work comic that I love. Did Jeremy Hotz, didn't he do like yeah. a ton of crowd work? Why is everybody staring at my nose? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jeremy Hotz. Uh, you got a, uh, you know, Shoemaker. Craig Shoemaker does a lot towards mm -hmm. the end with the whole machine gun bit. Uh, um, yeah, I'm trying to. Some people do kill, kill crowd work. My, I always look at my set. I just look at it as like a set, though. I'm always like, oh, this will lead into that and that. And like. So I'm always, I wish I could your, relax more and do. Do you have work, like a set list, or do you just? Do you yeah, know, I have like, a set. So you actually go up with a piece of paper, or no, you, no. How I'll, do you? How do you remember? Like what was? What's the next joke? You just know. I, it's kind of all chunked. Okay. Like is an oh, okay fast food here, and then from that to the weed stuff, and then the weed stuff to the this stuff. And then, okay. All right. That's what use that. That's why I try to keep it all chunked. I think it gains momentum in the set too, but it's also just because I'm a pothead and like I'll, I can't. No, nah, that's probably Everything smart. has to be chunked together or else I'll miss it. I remember one time I saw Regan, Brian Regan, yeah. and he had done his set, and it was like, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour. And in the next show, he did the exact same set backwards. No. Yeah, and it was like, and someone had pointed it out. They were like, they're like dude, dude, like he's doing his show backwards from the last set. And sure as hell, you know, as we kind of gone through the whole weekend, that's how we did forward and backwards and forward and backwards. Uh, but with Dude, no notes, it was, it was pretty, no, I imagine there's some kind of softness in there, but yeah, for the most part, it, it felt like the entire set was just the opposite way. And, but his <laughs> is all kind of like individual bits, yeah. you know, Brian Regan's so funny, man. Yeah. I, I always pick, I always see Brian as like, if Jim Carrey kept doing stand up comedy, you know, uh, just the, yeah, the, the, the face, I mean, his rubber face, God, uh, what are you doing? Ah, his brother. Ah, I love Dennis. Dennis, Dennis has some of my favorite jokes, you know, uh, rewiring the Pentagon when they're, they're at the, 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 the cashier's like, you know, oh, can I get some? Oh, yeah, I want Shasta instead. And she's like, oh, I don't know how to bring it in. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yes, it's, oh, man, he has so many funny jokes. He's, he's uh, hilarious. Have you ever seen Dennis Reagan before? I, I do. Brian's I worked with him like one time at the Ice House. But I, he's one of those dudes I knew about. You know how you know about those dudes before you see them and stuff? Okay. I knew of him. And when I saw him, I was like, oh, Dennis Reagan is crazy. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's funny, right? Yeah, those two. The two of them. I don't know what the other brother does. He probably like makes fax machines or something. I, I, have, <laughs> I have no clue. Um, okay, so before we wrap, um, one last question is, what um, what was the first joke that you got a laugh or the first time you realize, holy shit, I'm funny, I can do this? Do you remember the bit? Dude, the first time I realized this was funny was before stand-up. Okay. And, then, and I was just, and I, 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 where did I want... 
the first time I realized like this is what I want to do, kind of like entertainment was I did this. I was in dance class, bro, in high school at Lamar, oh, bro. God. I know. Dance, go kill. Hold I was in dance, on. and I just moved from uh, Texas. And I was such a nerd. I had no friends. We're talking late '90s, so this would been like Justin Timberlake, yes. and Britney Spears yes. time. This, so, oh is this God. what you were doing, bro? Like, yeah, <laughs> and I, I knew how to do that shit. They always put me in the back because I was so bad and fat. Like, I know, and I remember it was like there were a lot of hot chicks in there, and I would be like, "Yeah, there's hot chicks," but also at the same time, I'm like, "I want to dance. <laughs> like, I want, it's a cool skill to bust out at a party or something." Okay, okay. But so, okay. I did like this Austin Powers dance in school. Okay. And it was like in front of a big theater. And I remember I, I went out and it was like so awesome and everyone was into it. And it, like, I, it, that was the hardest I've ever killed. Ever. People ever. were like, just, oh my God, where the, oh, this yeah. guy. Was this like a talent show? Or yes, was it, like, it was like a talent. Like oh. one of those things you would see in a movie where the high schoolers are all going out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did my stupid Austin Powers dance and it was just ridiculous. Phenomenal. Man. Okay, so that was a pre stand up. That was pre stand up. Okay. So, you want like a joke? Probably the no. Street Fighter joke. The first time I did that, that was like oh, my first good, that's a good, good act joke. Out. That's a great like, this act. Is a out. Good. And then before that, I would have my, I remember I did, like I said, my balls are so blue, they're humming country tunes. And I remember that got a small laugh. And I remember thinking, like, yeah, yes, yes. Because I was so, oh, my God. My first, like, year was just awful of stand-up. I felt like it was fun, but it was I was terrible. Yeah. But I was into it, but I just didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, yeah you probably did it. From the, from, the, from the outsider's view, you, you did a decent job, I think. Because... Uh, mm-hmm. Somebody fell in love with you. I know, bro. I got you back. Um, well, man, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming on the it show. Is, yeah. um, I look forward to seeing you. Maybe one of these clubs I'll go to that I'm actually allowed to go in. Yeah, bro. Uh, Come out to LA. We'll hit up a dispensary. Yeah, so, let's do it. <laughs> that dude. LA thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all they do. They just is that. Is that uh, I bet everybody and their dog out there is like. Do you have like the people who are like major pot haters out there? They're like, uh, like you know, like cigarette smokers, and you got the, yeah, uh, my neighbors. No. <laughs> Well, it's just because your house smells. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he leaves, the garage just smokes. What's going on? Um, well, hey, man. Pleasure. Thanks again. Thanks, bro. Until next time, sir. Yes. All right.